What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of Fluff Hammer. Today we have a super important question that loads of people have been asking. Not just myself, but I see a lot on the forums and on Twitter and stuff like that. And that is Artist Opus Series D versus the Army Painter Masterclass brushes. Now these two sets of brushes, there is a massive difference um, in price. So I suppose it's time to find out if there's a massive difference in quality. Um, just to reference the price, this set of brushes here is £59, working out roughly £15 a brush. But you do get, obviously, the wooden storage case, you get the wet down pad, which is used for just um, keeping your brushes slightly damp. Um, and also you get a brush soap included as well in the packet. This brush by itself is the Extra Large Art Stopus Series D and that is £16. And this whole set of Army Painter Masterclass, small, medium, large, is only £14.40. So there's a massive price difference for something which looks very similar. Um, but let's get into it i suppose and we'll find out if artist opus is really worth the money versus the army painter master okay so what we're going to be doing to test these brushes is i've got my gloom tied shipwreck from idnf deepkin as you can see lots of wood texture um, awesome for dry brushing and um, we've got a front and the back of the ship this one um, i've so i've primed it uh, gray mechanica standard gray and then this one I've already proceeded to paint Dryad Bark and this one um, I'm just in the process of doing the base coat. What I'm going to do is the whole front of the ship I'm going to paint with the Artist Opus set uh, and the dry brushes and this end I'm going to paint entirely with the Army Painter set and we will then be able to compare kind of close-ups and overall look and see if there's any massive difference so we'll be using the same paints the same palette at the same time just different brushes so if there's any difference between the two um, that will be the brushes and not anything else that we are using so I'm going to put in some slow-mo or some super quick videos of me doing that and at the end I'll get back to you and we'll do a review on what I think of the brushes Artus Opus, the army painter. Round one, fight. So here we are at the end of the day. I have finished the gloom type shipwreck and there, um, as you can see, there's not a massive difference at all really. But I will say one thing, this Artist Opus Series D dropper set is one year old. And you can see from slight staining on the brushes, this has had an awful lot of work, especially this little beauty, the extra small has been absolutely fantastic. I use that for loads of stuff. You may have seen my Leviadon turtle. I use this to stipple all the carapace on the back of the turtle. So that is very good. Um, overall, I think the Army Painter is great value for money. Uh, the bristles are notably softer. The handles are noticeably a lot lighter. 
the handles on the Series D feel a lot more like sturdy and they're also um, a little bit more comfortable to hold. You can see they're tapered. Um, not a massive difference, but also I, I feel the bristle, bristles on this are slightly better quality. They are a good kind of 10-15% firmer. These feel really, really soft. Um, and I mean, this one, you can see already, doesn't look in the best of shape. And um, they've both been cleaned with the same brush soap and everything, but these Army Painter ones are literally a month old. Whereas, like I said, these Series D have had a pound in for a good year. So, all in all, I think if your budget is stretched and you want to do some dry brushing, I think you can't go wrong with the Army Painter ones. For the money, um, I really, I really think they'll they'll do you really well if you haven't got the budget for the Artis Opus ones. If you can afford the Artis Opus ones, I think they will serve you for a long time. They're great quality brushes. They produce great work. You only have to go over to their page and see the the stippling and and other stuff. I feel that they hold their shape really well, as you can see. I mean, for this, this one has had. A year's worth of use very regularly um, and yeah I think they, they hold their shape really well the bristles are nice and firm and and they are fantastic brushes um, for, for the money uh, I like the little box that they come in obviously keeps them all together the brush soap is good although I do tend to find myself using liquid brush soap instead and the wet dampening pad is uh, a great idea um, Byron uh, Art Opus uses it to great effect. Personally, I just can't get on with it. I either have it too wet or too dry, and I find it just doesn't um, really affect how I how I paint. I don't. I can't really make it work for me. That's not to say I won't over the long term, but I think for now, um, that's just something I don't really use. But it's a cool little extra to have. Um, but yeah, like I said, if your budget's stretched go for the army painter you can't go wrong if you can afford the little bit extra to go up to the artist opus i think they will last you a lot longer than the army painter set and i think they are slightly higher well they're, they're definitely higher quality there's no two ways about it they are high quality um but then we all know that the, the more money you pay for something generally the better the quality these look very similar but they are once you hold them you can see just here the the resistance from the brush and everything once you hold them in your hand these are a lot softer but having said that having both is a great great option uh the art opus is a great if you're gonna be heavy using but if you want a super light dry brush actually the army painter ones probably are just a little bit better at feathering so it's it's cool it's cool to have both if you can afford it like i said if your budget doesn't stretch i would just go for the artist opus if your budget doesn't stretch to the artist opus set you can just get like the single brush for about the same price as the army painters but if you um are tight on money or you just don't want to spend the money on the artist opus set then i think the army painter ones on your actual models i think will do just as good a job so anyway yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the review and i hope to all catch you all soon in another fluff hammer video if you like this video please um hit the thumbs up please subscribe please share it with your friends i'm going to produce a ton more content going forward so yeah yeah just um just hit that like button hit that subscribe button for me help me out and uh, i'll catch you guys in the next one cheers bye bye What's up everyone? Thank you so, so much for watching. What I'm going to do is put a link in the description below to Element Games. That's where I buy all my Warhammer and supplies. So if you want any of the Army Painter brushes, Artis Opus brushes, or the Gloom Tide Shipwreck, or any other hobby, please hit that link below. They just give me a little kickback, helps me out with the channel. Um, much appreciated, thank you. And one other thing is uh, Face Hammer. If you watch me you probably already watch face hammer but if you don't it's uh, some of the greatest match play content um, they do awesome kind of list tech everything like that it's really really good they've got a youtube channel um, a podcast they're on itunes and, and most other kind of podcast um, suppliers so check them out great guys great content 
Thanks, everyone. See you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>